Okay, we're, we're back with one of my faves, Shevchenko, um, against Ioana. An amazing fight. Uh, two of the best strikers. Well, two of the best strikers, let's just leave it at that. Um, yeah, so we're going to see uh, Shevchenko deal with and collect a uh, kick and the takedown that ensues from it. And um, for all you Thai boxers out there, um, this is how you do it. So, um, yeah, we've got Joanna, who is just about to throw a body kick into um, Shevchenko. So, obviously, Shevchenko can see it coming. So, she sees jo Joanna take that step and then throw in that leg. We're going to see Shevchenko take some of the sting out of that kick by stepping in and taking that strike underneath the armpit and collecting it. Now... I um, didn't understand this until I went to Thailand and saw that um, a lot of the Thai boxers will actually kind of catch that body kick in their armpit where it doesn't do as much damage onto the lat and, and stuff. And she's going to wrap that ankle. Now, at this point here, Joanna, being the expert uh, Thai boxer that she is, is already trained to turn her knee to lift her foot out of that. And a less experienced fighter, um, not Shevchenko, would uh, be stationary at this point, which would allow Joanna to be able to turn her knee up to the ceiling and limp leg her leg out, uh, just as all Thai boxers are taught to do. But what Shevchenko has done after the initial trap of the leg is she's now going to continue moving forward. So as Joanna lifts that knee to pull that leg out, to limp leg that out, she'll actually collect underneath the knee with her elbow. So you can see her drive in and collect underneath that, which stops Ioana's limp leg. She also sachets, because she's a great dancer, she also sachets her post underneath that leg, which now means that Ioana cannot drive that knee downwards. Okay, I've talked to you in plenty of videos about power lines. Yeah, If Shevchenko was over here and tried to hold that leg up, she'd be able to drive it down. That's not the case. What she's going to do now is she's going to uh, try and push Shev uh, Ioana's head over to that side of the cage and she's going to get her to hop by lifting the weight on the hips and she's going to sweep this uh, calf from underneath her that's what she's going to try to do but we're going to see Joanna do one of the most amazing defences that I think you'll ever see I mean it's absolutely beautiful so as Shevchenko lifts that knee and drives that sweep in I mean let's see if we can get a pair of sweep you can see that perfect sweep technique any judoka would be more than proud of that at the moment of the hop at the moment of the hop she is sweeping that leg so she's turning the hip the bottom of the foot is on the back of the calf and she's booting it this way the problem that she's having is that at the same time as kicking it this way what she'll have expected to be able to do is to be able to force Joanna's head in this direction. But because Joanna is controlling the wrist and somehow flying, <laughs> then this doesn't quite happen. So it takes it out of time. So she manages to stop that being perfectly timed. So that sweep fails. I mean, this is incredible from Joanna. She slowed down that, the head's over in this direction, her body weight is actually falling over in that way, it's actually um, Shevchenko who's holding her up. One of the little details I would like you guys to see is Shevchenko's head here. Look how everything is hidden, her head's free, I mean you might want to say that Joanna's pulling her head forward but if Shevchenko wanted to pick her head straight up she's a strong lady so she'd be able to do that. But her forehead's settled. She doesn't know what's coming back if it's a punch or an elbow while she's reaching out here. So this is just a little bit of advice to you guys who are going into clinch techniques. Make sure that your face is well protected. Okay. Um, so we've gone to the sweep stage and she's failed the sweep stage. Even though look at that, it's almost, it's almost there. She pushes the head, but Joanna somehow, somehow manages to stay up. And... She bounces, she bounces down, it's actually um, Shevchenko's body alignment as she lands, which holds Joanna up. Because we talk about this power line, she's actually giving um, base 
to Ioana because this pressure now down through this leg is actually being held up by uh, Shevchenko. So she's moved ahead in this in this direction. If we can go back a little bit more. And now she, what she's going to do, she's going to pull the head back over in this direction and lift this knee while clamping her head, her ear onto the side of the head. She's going to, uh, I'm sure you wrestling coaches and stuff like that have told you where the head goes, the body follows. So now Shevchenko is going to offset this body. This is pure Thai boxing now. She's going to offset this body. She's going to drive her head into the side of the head and she's going to take Joanna to this side of her body now Joanna is trying to frame here off the hip that should give her enough space to be able to get her leg out uh, to hop her leg further out but what she's not um, able to do is she's not able to stop the lift of Shevchenko now as she puts this foot down she'll form a nice power line to be able to lift that leg up high so she's lifting that knee up high and she's using her head and her collar tie to force Chef, uh, Joanna's head down in this direction. Okay, so Joanna's head is forced to go. I mean, how she doesn't fall over before now, I have no idea. This is incredible. Shevchenko lifts the knee and she's now torsioning. She's now torsioning the body around. Now, because the head is lower than the hips, because there's no access here, because there's no line of strength in Joanna anymore, a, a line of strength has been taken away at this point here, she's not going to be able to, this is basically where the center of gravity is now, she's not going to be able to hop her weight, uh, hop her post underneath her head, so her head is going to come down into that gap, and we see this beautiful turn as Shevchenko pivots, lifts the knee, and takes her down into a perfect side control. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, two amazing fighters. I mean, these these guys are the <laughs> highest level of strikers, and Shevchenko's mix of wrestling and Thai boxing. I mean, there's a lot of wrestling in, in Thai boxing. Really, is just incredible to take people down. Uh, remember that, that was the way she caught the kick and moved on to the kick it's really important if you're into catching kicks and stuff like that you don't just stop once you've caught the kick you need to go up the leg and capture the knee otherwise a really good side boxer or even a half decent side boxer will just remove his uh, leg out there or her leg out of there okay so i hope that kind of helps um again it's the beautiful shevchenko and the beautiful yuliana and uh yeah uh good luck with it